TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 41. NASDAQ is down 10. S&P is up 2.5. Gold contract. Gold continues higher, folks. You get gold up at $10 at 14.10. We have silver up 6 cents, $15.35. Light sweet crude, flat. $57.43 a barrel. Notes and bonds, they continue higher price, lower yield. You get the 10 year right now, trading up eight ticks, 127.24. 30 year up 16 at 155.03. You had the 10 year uh, last week, folks, get to 1.97. Right now we're at 2.2. That uh, baby looks like it's going to build some cars, get down to that 1.71. King dollar, King dollar down 73 ticks, trading 95.645. You have the euro at 113, the yen is at 107.48, and the pound is out here trading at 127. If we get over and we take a look at that dollar next, what you're going to see inside the dollar, folks, is that uh, you have lower price and you have volume behind the move. This is uh, going to be the fourth day that we actually get volume on the way down. You're already at 12,000 contracts. Uh, what we did the last three days... And this is the first time that we actually had three days in a row with uh, volume. They're so the selling this baby down. Last Wednesday, we did 29,000. Thursday, you did 25,000. Friday, you did 30,000. And today, it looks like we're going to get about uh, 25,000. Bottom line is that the dollar has broken its uptrend. Um, I suspect first we're going to get down to the bottom of that consolidation, which is a 94. We break 94. Guess what would be game is 88. Well, you know, when we take a look at the S&P, what we have is this. So picture you, you had last Friday was option expiration. Bottom line is that the indices had monster volume and subtle, but guess what? You went lower. What I've seen at many times is that on option expiration, wherever you actually go, whether it's subtle or not, bottom line, uh, that's where you want to go. So it's going to be intriguing to see whether we actually do get a change of trend. Now, I don't expect that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. The reason being is that we're going into the July 4th weekend, and the way that is set up, is that you're talking about a week from this coming Thursday. So this will be one full week of trading. Next week, bottom line, the end of this week, you're going to have window dressing. I suspect this is going to be a sideways market for a couple weeks. To recap here, Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ down 5, S&P's up 4.5. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.